Hello everyone, Regina here with Refuge One and Herbal Tea Cup. Today I'd like to talk to you about making tail flags. I will show you one of the ones that I've made, but our tiny dancers are using them. They're learning how to um, use the bigger flags. This is one that my praise and worship leader made. Her name is Regina too. She's amazing and she teaches us all kinds of skills and techniques. She makes our praise and worship flags and our outfits for praise and worship. She's an amazing woman of God and I'm blessed to be under her wing as far as teaching, learning um, this technique is concerned. I've been really blessed by her, but this is one, it's big. We're gonna learn how to make a small one, but I wanted you to see um, the materials to matter. I wanted you to see, I don't have much room in here, but as you can see the flow uh, of it, I'd like to show you some techniques, but if I did that, I would probably knock everything in here down. I had to move my lighting back as well here in my studio, but I wanted to show you the things that you would need to create this beautiful flag as well in the name of Jesus. The other videos that are out there as well, teaches you how to make the smaller flags and um so look for those videos as well same thing i'm going to show you what you need to purchase and the video that's going to be coming up we're going to make those tail flags but this is another one i like the chiffon because the silk and the satin is really hard to find we've lost a lot of our craft stores here in carolina but you can see this purple we also have the white one too for those praise and worship dancers we know that colors represent something in the kingdom of god in jesus name you learn how to make this one the streamers too um there are videos out there to show you how to make the streamers and for those that have subscribed thank you so much for hitting that like button for those that didn't like it uh, I apologize. Let me know why you didn't like it and I'll try not to do it again or maybe I missed some information, but I'm just getting uh, started. So this is new to me too. And as I learn, I'm going to share it with you. So before you give me a thumbs down, let me know so that I can gain your thumbs up in Jesus name. The things that we're going to need today to make these flags, um, I get my sticks from a craft store. You can get them from any craft store. This is about 36 inches, about 5 16 You want to get sticks that you're going to be able to control unless you want to go out and beat up your congregation. I actually hit my pastor one day. I felt like I wanted to die, but I just happened to have also an amazing pastor too. He is so groovy. Um, he didn't make me feel bad about it. I think um, he knew that he couldn't make me feel any worse than I already felt. I'm just glad that it wasn't uh, one of our congregational members. Um, our pastor is an amazing man of God. But you're going to need the sticks as well. As you learn, you can um, pick out the different ones that will accommodate you. Well, once you learn how to make them, you'll see what I mean. Then you can design them to your own uh, liking. You'll need some seam tape for those that... Uh, don't like to sew, don't know how to sew as well. So you'll need the sticks, you'll need some seam tape. I like to decorate the ends of my flags. This is from a blue guinea. This is from a brown guinea. And as you can see, there's a little eye at the tip. I'll show you how to run it and how to attach it to your flags as well. You'll need a glue gun uh, as well for that. You'll need some material. You will need, I like chiffon because, you know, as you can see, look at that. It's beautiful. The chiffon is very flowing. You'll need at least two yards of it. I also have it in yellow. So we're going to be making white. We're going to be making yellow. Um, if you are blessed with a craft store, a lot of ours went out of business. So the silks and the satins, like I said, are hard to find. But I like the chiffon because you can see that it is easy flowing um, as well. Rayon is okay. But it's kind of heavy too so when praise and worshiping you know the lighter the flow the better because they'll get tangled up and you don't want that during your praise and your worship uh dancing the colors represent something like i said in the kingdom of god the colors every color means something guys like our page subscribe if you want to see more videos on how to make these flags um hit that like button let me know that you want to see more videos refuge1.net 
Refuge One at Windstream.net, Herbal Life on Facebook, Regina N. Sanford on Facebook. Contact me. Recipes exchanged are available for you. The detox program is available. The exercise program is available. Yes, my testimony is there. I will be 60 years old, May 10th, 2020 this year. There's a lot of us that can't do a lot of the modern exercises. Many of us have bad knees. Many of us are on uh, dialysis or medications or something. Something happens um, when you're attacked in your health and you're on medications. There's certain things that uh, you have to uh, follow protocol wise. You have to get with your doctor and um, make sure that what you're doing is jiving with what they have you doing. But back to flags. If you want to make your flags, guys, subscribe, hit that like button. If you don't like it, let me know why you don't like it. Reach out to me. If I've left something out, if you don't like it, let me know why you don't like it. And I'll try to gain your thumbs up in the name of Jesus. So until next time, happy praise and worshiping, happy flag making, and let's make those tail flags in the next video. Like our page, subscribe, and the next time, bye.